Pie Humane Society is brought to you by Prescott Honda. PrescottHonda.com. I'm here at the Yavapai Humane Society where it is Happy Cat Month. That's right, the entire month of September, they have an amazing special going on. So if you've ever been interested in getting a cat, now is definitely the time. Lori Walden, thank you as always for having us out. Thank you for being here, I love it. I love it too, and I'm excited to hear about this special that you're running. Well, you know what, it is Happy Cat Month, and so what we wanna do is we wanna make some of these cats very happy <laughs> by letting them get their very own perfect forever home. So all adult cats, over six months, so that's six months and older, we are waiving the adoption fees. Unbelievable, and people are actually already coming in. I couldn't believe when we were over there in the cat corridor, there were all sorts of people coming, so you have to make an appointment, two o'clock, 2.30, three o'clock, and I'm thinking, how do you even keep cats here because everybody's adopting? Well, and they keep coming in, you know, we, that's every right. day, every day we get new ones. So with this special, all adult cats are the, the fee is waived, but the testing fees still do apply. So if they've been tested with uh, FELV and FIV and that. So there are still some fees. A little fees. Okay. But you so, know you're taking home a healthy cat that is free and clear basically, right? right? Exactly. Free title. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we have the cutest cats right here. I'm so excited to introduce you. Who's the first one we have here, Lori? Okay. This is Ruth. And Ruth came to us <laughs> from one of our amazing rescue partners, Newborn Kitten Rescue in Scottsdale. Uh, she came to them, she was two weeks old and she oh. was a little bottle fed, fed baby. She was with Fosters. As you can oh see, God. she's very little feisty. She's she vocal. loves to play, she's yeah. vocal. But the Fosters noticed that she was having some, some motor skill issues and it was basically happening with her back legs oh. and she was having some seizures. And so it was um, discovered that she, um, by they actually spent a really good amount of time and effort in getting her diagnosed with a neurologist and different specialists. So she was um, diagnosed with a motor skills <clears throat> behavior issue and she starts getting seizures when it's time to go to sleep and when she sleeps. Okay. So they were finding that she was having these seizures and so they started doing medication with her and <laughs> she, she, yes, so cute. she's being a typical cat. Oh my gosh. So is there anything specific that someone would need to know if they wanted to adopt her? It, uh, that she's just going to be on some medication for the okay. rest of her life. Right. Now the really good thing is she's good at taking it. She doesn't have a problem taking it. And she just says, hi, I'm going to take my medicine and then I'm going to go to sleep and everything's going to be okay. But she's a five-month-old kitten. Um, just besides those seizures and yeah. having to take, she's a, well, as you can see, she's a, <laughs> yes. a what completely. What a fun little girl you are, Ruthie. I, I know people are probably thinking, okay, now I see that as an expense, medications. Is it something that's an ongoing expense that's expensive? It's it, the, the medicine that she's not is, is not a very highly expensive Perfect. medicine. Perfect. Okay, so, so that's we're good. good. And then we have Paul over here this as well. This is Paul. Paul is also a little bit needy. Um, he just needs a little extra care too. He's got a little bit of neurological issues. Okay, meaning on. what, the brain? Well, he likes to, He we're not sure if, if there's something going on with his sight. Um, when he's walking around, he tends to bump into oh. walls and things like that. And he does have a little bit of issues with seizures too. Okay. Um, he has a little bit of twitching issues, but otherwise he's Hi. just a complete sweetheart. He's just going to need somebody who's going to be there to take care of him and watch him and, uh, you know, let him be a cat. And as you can see, he's, he's a typical little playful thing. He is so cute too. <laughs> like, he and Ruth look a lot alike, don't they? Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. So, you know, the thing is, is just because there's animals that have these special needs, you don't want to, you know, overlook them too, because just because there's, you know, a few issues, look, they're completely normal. So fun. I mean, and that's what little... makes them them, right? That exactly. could actually be a little bit more fun to have exactly. a little bit of a needier cat, Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So where can our viewers go for more information? They can go to yavapaihumane.org, click right on our website, it'll show you where adoptable cats and dogs, everything that's available here, and then just click there, make an appointment, or they can call us at 445-2666. And I think we have a fax coming in right now. We Someone do. Someone's saying, I want that cat. I want Ruth. I want Paul, right? That's right. Live TV, folks. <laughs> there it is. There it is. We also want to thank Prescott Honda for sponsoring these wonderful segments throughout Yavapai Humane Society. We want to thank you for joining us today.